everybody, it is June 2nd and I am back at my main hive. Today's objective is to free up some space for my queen. So this hive right there is in the process of requeening itself. So to update you, <laughs> that means my original queen has swarmed and they are trying to create a new queen and that is the situation I'm in now. But when I went in my last inspection, I noticed that the brood chamber, which is the bottom chamber usually, where the queen lays her eggs, was back filled with nectar. So my local bee club have said this has probably been a record setting year in terms of nectar hauls. And so the bees are continually bringing in nectar and they're filling the brood chamber, which should be filled with eggs. But because this hive is queenless, there are no eggs in there, so they've just been filling it up with nectar. And what happens is the hive becomes honey bound, which means the queen has no place to lay. And that again, will lead to swarming. And this hive, I think at this point might have swarmed twice. Sorry, there's a chainsaw going over there. At any rate, so I'm gonna to try to free up some space. I'm gonna go in there quickly, grab the frames that have nectar in them. They're not capped yet, it's not honey yet. I'm gonna spin them out in my extractor, then bring back the empty frames, and then I'm gonna save that nectar to re-feed the bees during times of dearth when there's no nectar available. So it's not honey yet, it is definitely nectar, and so it can spoil and mold, so I'll store it in the refrigerator until it's time to give it back to the bees. All right, that's today's objective. Never boring when it comes to beekeeping, right? <laughs> Give the ladies a little smoke. Let them know I'm coming. Smoke them up here. So my primary objective is to get down to the brood chamber. This is the honey super. It's here so these girls can go back in. And they haven't really touched these at all. There it goes with these. Sometimes they don't want to listen. Maybe you should do it your way. So, I want to get down to the bottom here. This queen is here. Dark frames are brood frames. So, I'm going to shake off the bees. Sorry girls, I need to dislodge you. Lots of drones. Okay, so at least three frames there, and I'll probably grab a couple from my split too. Alright, so I'm going to quickly put this back together. Here's my extractor, it's a two frame Maxent, love it. And I'm just doing this in the garage. It is June 2nd, so the flow is on and I'm not really worried about robbing, otherwise I would have done this inside. And one thing I've learned from before is to have this open and have your vessel waiting down below. Now this is going to be nectar, this is not honey yet. As you can see these cells have not been capped and it's just the shiny liquid inside. That's nectar that has been foraged. 
So we're gonna remove that so the queen has a place to lay. So just place frames into here. And spin. The cells remain open until the water evaporates to the level of which it's considered honey, and then the bees cap it for storage. So, Alright, let's look at that. Great. Pretty fast. Made pretty quick work of that. It smells so good. Spin it again. So that's the result of about six or eight frames, medium frames. They're still nectar honey in there that I spun out and I will save to feed back to the bees in probably about a month or so. All the frames are spun out. It's a very humid day. Tomorrow we're expecting rain so I knew I had to do this right away. So I'm going to replace these back in the hive. Okay. And then leave the poor girls alone. Alright. Honey's super off. Alright, oh my goodness, so I am a sweat ball here, it is probably, I don't know, 90% humidity, we're expecting a thunder shower, that's why I needed to do this now, because I know that I had at least one virgin queen, if not multiple virgin queens in there, and I don't want them all to swarm off if they don't have room to lay, and this hive was definitely honey bound, I spun out 8 frames, including I grabbed a couple from my split there, and I put them all back. I put most of them down in the first box, add a couple in the second box, and a couple more in the third brood box, and then I brought some of the honey frames back up so they have a little bit more room to store honey down below and have room hopefully to crawl up into the honey supers. Right now, the honey super is pretty much full. I'm going to go ahead and put on another super just to give them a little bit more room. So that's the update for June 2nd, clearing out nectar so the queen, the new queen, has room to lay. Alright, see you next time. Bye! It is June 2nd and I am in front of my split hive and that, my friends, is a dead virgin queen. You can tell she's a queen because she has the black thorax and her legs are golden. Typical bee's legs will be black. She looks quite small so she doesn't look mated but it looks like the split has rejected her or she was maybe killed by another rival queen. 
out of love. Beekeeping. All right, it's June 2nd and my split that was requeened with my Reba Grant Queen is doing well and I'm gonna add another box. The last thing I want to happen is for her to get honeybound as well. They, I gave them a few drawn out comb so they've got a little head start and they're filled with eggs and so I'm gonna add another box, move the feeder up top and uh, yeah, make sure she has enough room to lay. Blank plastic foundation that's coated with beeswax. I'm just gonna add that on top and then move the super I mean, move the feeder up. Um, so yeah, pretty simple. This is a pretty happy hive, even though I'm going to be intruding. I shouldn't speak too soon. I've been drinking a lot, so I'll have to get some more syrup in there. The syrup encourages wax production or drying up. So, we will give her, give them foundation to build on. And then I'll come back to fill up the syrup. Yeah, that's it. I just added a second box. That's just all foundation. And yeah, that's that.